I'm a senior citizen that got picked up at gunpoint in her front yard and taken to prison. I'm mad. I'm hurt. I'm, I'm all of a sudden I'm on antidepressants. I'm on blood pressure medicine. I'm on medicine to sleep at night. All because somebody didn't do their job right in the government. The federal government now admitting they made a mistake just days after an ABC 15 investigation into the false arrest of a Valley woman. We're following up on this story for you tonight. Investigator Jennifer Kovaleski continues to push for accountability and has a major change in direction after her reporting. Just one more time, will you just say and spell your name for me so I make sure we get it right? Penny McCarthy, MC, capital C-A-R-T-H-Y, not Carol anything. The U.S. Marshal Service now changing their story, confirming to ABC 15 the fingerprints don't match. And 66-year-old Penny McCarthy is not 70-year-old Carolyn Rozak. The Oklahoma fugitive federal agents thought she was when they arrested and detained her last month. I... Penny McCarthy did nothing wrong. I mean, I've done many of things wrong, but nothing illegal. And this is just not right. But their admission won't stop Penny's quest for justice. What do you want done? I want somebody to hold these people accountable. I want this to not happen to more people. An Arizona judge dismissed the case and vacated Penny's identity hearing on Monday. Federal agents accusing her of being an ex-con who violated her parole. Just days after her investigation aired into her false arrest outside her Phoenix home. And then they're out the doors and they're pointing rifles at me. Federal agents claimed Penny was Carol, seen in this two decades old mugshot. And we learned this all stemmed from an outstanding parole violation from 1999 in Oklahoma. I have my birth certificate. Even though Penny had extensive documentation, they had the wrong person. They've traumatized me. I don't go in my front yard unless somebody's here with me. I try not to go any place alone anymore. Penny's still struggling with what they put her through. I've told my children their whole life, own your heirs, and I would love for somebody to own their heirs. I no longer have faith in the government that anybody's going to say this is wrong. We took her concerns and our questions directly to the U.S. Attorney's Office and U.S. Marshal Service. They've all done a lot of finger pointing, but in the last 48 hours, the U.S. Marshal Service sent us this statement trying to justify what happened. They said a preliminary review of this investigation indicates that USMS officials followed proper procedures and regrets any inconvenience caused by the mistaken identification of Ms. McCarthy. But it still doesn't answer key questions. We're sorry that happened. Have a nice day. Really? Here's something else we found that's interesting. According to this motion recently filed in Oklahoma federal court, Rozak had stolen Penny Burns' identity in a way that made Penny Burns look like Rozak on paper. Penny says Burns is her maiden name. But no one will tell us exactly what linked Penny to Carol, causing the federal government to make a major mistake. What do you want to say to the real Carol Ann Rozak? Then I'm looking for her. I'm probably looking for her harder than they are at this point. I would like nothing better than to show them that I can do their job better than them. You're probably wondering why didn't they check Penny's fingerprints when they first took her into custody? As we've been reporting, they did. We're told there was some kind of glitch and her digital fingerprints at first appeared to match. But now we know they don't. We will keep asking questions and for the U.S. Marshal Service to go before our cameras. I'm investigator Jennifer Kovaleski, ABC 15, Arizona.